Hello there, very warm welcome to the Greenock Morton weekly update as sponsored by me Tears the Auctioneers. Your chance to get behind the scenes at Capital Park. And to do that right now, I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by the Morton manager, David Hawking. David, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you, Jerry. Morning. Good morning to you. Um, let's talk about our broth last week. Um, that came on the back of a really, really heavy fortnight for you. But, I mean, the fight from the boys to get that equaliser at the end, magnificent. Yeah, I think you, you could tell in the game it was probably our fifth game in 12 days. I thought we, we looked a wee bit heavy-legged and uh, we, we gave a poor goal away. And against a bros who don't concede many goals, they're organised, they're an experienced team with good players. We knew it was going to be difficult, but we kept going right at the end. And I think Nian probably deserves to, to get a wee bit of luck and also Sean McGinty scores his first goal for the club with a, a fantastic header. So I, I'm, I'm delighted that we've got a point because I, I thought after the, 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 the four games we've had previously, the amount of effort that the players put in, the amount of travel we've put in, uh, was, I think was just rewards. I've seen you celebrate goals before, I've seen you celebrate goals you've scored, but my God, on Saturday, you roared out of that dugout as soon as Sean got into it, and you went up for it and you thought, that's going into the back of the net. Yeah, I just think, as soon as you've seen the corner come in, it's a fantastic corner from Nicky, and uh, when you're six foot five, and you're, and you're going to attack a ball, as soon as he's headed it, it's a fantastic header. Yeah, I think everybody was, I think, it's 94th minute, mm. I think over the previous two weeks against Mayor Aloha, we conceded two late goals, and then we conceded in the last 20 seconds against Inverness, which we've got as another valuable point. So, no, it was great. I just think it was a game where we weren't at our best. But I say to the players after it, good teams keep going. Mm. And I think the mentality of the club was fantastic. We had two, three strikers playing at a time, trying to get a ball in the box. And I say, if you keep chipping away, you're always going to get a wee bit of luck. You and I have talked all the time about this inclusion in the club and how everybody's involved in it, and none more so than the ball boy, who I don't even know. On Saturday, but he raced up the stairs to get the ball back for Caddy to put the corner. That seemed to embody what you've brought to this club that everybody wants to get involved in doing things like that. Yeah, I just think it's a, the nature of the game. I think you've got to remember these young ball boys are probably Morton fans, mm. and uh, sometimes it's good when when maybe you're under pressure they take their time. But on <laughs> Saturday, I think I think young Lewis Stratton, Nicky Cannon actually told him and asked him could they go and get the balls quicker. So to be fair to him, he ran up about 20 stairs to get the ball back down, and I says it's. It's a fantastic, I think, uh, the, the effort and the, the kind of camaraderie around, around the club now is, is starting to get a good bond that we've been working hard to get. Big Sean, I mean, you came here with a reputation for being a passionate celebrator of goals, but you, you raced halfway across the pitch. Yeah, I think it's the fastest I've seen him running. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's great. I think it's always good. He, he's, I think he's, he's so openly said it's his first goal of the season. It's your first goal for your new club and what a time to score it. So I think everything else just come in, but... As you say, I think we'd celebrate it. If you mm. actually look at it, I think the players are trying to get back in position as quickly yes, as we can. Right. I think three or four players went to Sean, but the rest of the players have joined something was going to get a ball out of net. Because I think that time, maybe the players have still got that mentality to think we could maybe get another chance here, which is great. But at that time, the game, I'm probably delighted by a point, and the players and the mentality of them are probably going to go and try and get a winner. So we move on. Dundee United on Saturday. By and large, the last couple of games have been tight, and I would suggest that Morton have been really, really unlucky. What kind of challenge do you expect from them? Yeah, well, I think everybody knows they're going to win the league. I think the, 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 the form and the, probably the first two thirds of the season has been incredible. I don't think anybody could live with them. And uh, well, every, every team, they maybe get through a wee, a wee lull, but they're still only lost one or two games in a mm. nine game period, ten game period mm -hmm. in a quarter. So we know the challenge. Robbie's got a very good experienced team, a good team, very good players. And uh, we know it's going to be tough. I think the, the last time we played here at Capital, we got beat 2 1. I thought it's probably one of the best games mm -hmm. we've probably played in football terms. And, uh, and we went to Tannadice earlier on, and I think we put on probably one of the best performances away from home mm -hmm. that I've probably managed in because I thought we were excellent. And uh, to, to concede the goal in the 90, first 90 second minute was, was cruel. But I think the players and the quality they have, they're going to do that to you. But we, we know it's going to be tough. A very tough game. I think it's a game everybody's looking forward to. I'm hoping we get a good turnout from the Morton fans, and I'm sure Dundee United will bring a, a good support down. So financially, it's great for the club. Where we are in the league, I just think we've, we've got to try and see if we can manage to sum out the game. I mean, we are expecting a big crowd. It's good for the club. It's good for the players as well, though, to play in that kind of atmosphere, isn't it? Yeah, I think, especially after the run we've had. I think say we've had three away games, and obviously a growth game on Saturday, which was, it's took its toll. The players have had a couple of days rest. We're back in today, Friday, and make sure that we go again. And I think it's a game that the players will be looking forward to. 
playing against probably they are going to be champions of the championship, and it's just a matter of when. So we we need to make sure that we we've, we've still got aspirations. We need to get points on the board, and as I say, it's, it's a game that I'm looking forward to. And I'm sure the players are, and I'm sure the fans are too. I was going to ask you about that in terms of preparation for a game like this. This is the first time in a few weeks you've actually had a clear week. Does that tell with the players when they come in? Can you see that? Yeah, I think it was important. I think we had, uh, we gave the players Sunday, Monday off uh, to recuperate. I think the travelling, you could see it. Mm -hmm. We came in on Tuesday, the boys looked refreshed. Uh, we, we had a normal day off yesterday, we're back in today. So, no, the players are in good spirits. I think we had, a, we had a double session on Tuesday, which the players, I think, didn't appreciate having two <laughs> days off. Yeah. But no, it's good. And I think that all the players are in are really good spirits. The whole squad is. And uh, th th these are wee things that I even spoke to Crawford yesterday and he was saying that the three boys, Luca and Cammy and, and Cameron Blues, who were on the stand, who were on the front plane, were, were jumping about what Morton fans when we scored the equaliser. And he says, and I think it's the first time in his time since he's been here. He's actually seen players who only maybe been involved, really having that relationship. So I think he's he's delighted that he's probably seen some that maybe he's not seen in the past. So th these are things where the players deserve great credit. Mm. Now we talked about the fans there just briefly, and of course you didn't get time off on Monday because you were good enough to come out to the first fans forum that we've done for quite a while. How did you enjoy that? Yeah, as I say, I think it, it, it's good open discussions. I think it's good for the fans to come in and ask questions that maybe. Uh, they, they want answers to, and uh, and it was also good for myself and Dave McKinnon to kind of put across your uh, your thoughts and what we want to take the club over the next coming seasons. And I think it was just one of these ones that we're trying to build a rapport, we're trying to build uh, relationships, and we're trying to make sure that we're open and as honest and frank as we can be. And you were very candid, uh, both of you, as I've come to expect from you, to be honest. But it is very vital, isn't it, that we get this communication out to the supporters so they know what's happening at Capital Park. Yeah, I think since we've come into the club, obviously, Dave's managed to get yourself to come in the interviews on a Thursday. It's professional. I think these interviews are good. They give a good insight to, to fans. I think everybody wants to know what's going on at the club. So I think the more communication you can do with, with, with fans and engage with them, I think these things start to get better and I think even the other night when you actually seen the fans at the forum you can tell that they're really enjoying the interviews they're enjoying the media side of it and obviously we've been on a half decent run which which probably helps it always helps yeah. David listen thanks for coming in as always and good luck to you on Saturday no problem thanks yeah and thank you for joining us on the Greenock Morton weekly update as sponsored by McTears the auctioneers <laughs>